It's no secret that throughout history, minority groups heading to cast a ballot faced intense voter intimidation. That includes tactics like gerrymandering and poll taxes. The federal government eventually stepped in to regulate voter access. Tonight, our Frederick Price walks us through how one Arkansan uses art to bring light to dark times. Tucked away in the historic Dunbar area and just a few miles from the Little Rock Nine Monument is Hearn Fine Art. We focus on black culture through literature and the fine arts. For more than three decades, Garbo Hearn has featured Arkansas and international artists to help people understand black culture. On display now at her gallery, where do we go from here? And this exhibit talks about, it shares the history of the disenfranchisement of voters, black voters particularly. The artist behind this, Kevin Cole, using pieces like these poll tax forms from 1893 and 1963 to support the challenges voters faced. Once you pay the poll tax, you may be asked some arbitrary questions like how many bubbles in a bar of soap are how many marbles in a can. The other lesson this exhibit explores is gerrymandering, a tactic, she says, used to change a voting district to create results that helps one political party and hurts the other. Cole's work is designed to represent seven southern states that participated in gerrymandering, using dirt from each state to show that. How can I show the process of mapping by, by using, using dirt in those areas where the black votes are suppressed. Something he believes happens today. Just last year, a group of black Arkansans filed a lawsuit alleging that new drawn congressional districts diluted the influence of black voters. A panel of judges tossed out part of that suit in October. Cole also cites a law in Georgia that bans groups from giving food and water to voters waiting in line. Aside from that, Cole's designs include neckties, a piece he adds sometimes used to scare voters. My grandfather took me to a tree where African Americans were lynched by their neckties on their way to vote in Terry, Arkansas. But Cole hopes his artwork sends a message that fear can't be a reason to not cast a ballot. They died so they so that we would have the right to vote and a right to make decisions about our lives and our families. In Little Rock, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Cole's exhibit started in Georgia, where he got $50,000 to work on those pieces of art. His collection is on display until April 1st, and the gallery also helps people register to vote.